<laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now it's your turn to come to Belgrade, is it? Yeah. Now it's your turn. I'm seeing. So yeah. Just in, we got that one settled. So hello, guys. Uh, we already spoke about how great the venue is, and it's really. Uh, it's awesome. I never been in a dome room. I don't think that I will ever be. So uh, I would like to say uh, thank you for all the organizers for having me here. I'm really enjoying. Um, I'm going to tweet about these slides, but if you're on your computers and you don't like to see one chubby guy in front of you, you can see just on the slide.com. I'll be tweeting about this one. If you add uh, slash live, you can follow, follow, along, uh, fo follow along as I uh, go through the slides. So today, uh, I would like first to uh, say thank you and wow to the, someone that made this logo. I really loved it. That was the, one of the reasons uh, that I applied. No, I'm, I'm joking. It's not, the, it's not the logo. It's the Nicholas and the guys. Once again, uh, thank you so much for having me here. Um, yeah, this, uh, this is an awesome logo. I really love it. So uh, yeah, today we're going to talk about uh, team development with Sage. Just so you know, um, I applied with a team development team. Uh, and I'm defending their colors. That's why uh, I decided my first work and talk to be about the team teams and team development. So yeah, uh, this talk is also my first, uh, same as Milenko. Uh, why use Sage? Why I use the uh, Roots? I like the idea of starter teams. I hate spending uh, time on the things that I don't need. But before we go and before we dig in what's the sage, we need to just step back a little bit and talk about what, what's the roots, what's the thing behind this one. Currently, uh, sage is uh, at version 8. Point, I'll say X because I don't know if it's 2 or 3. I think it's 2. So until version 8, uh, we were using the roots team. Uh, now roots became like the tool uh, framework, uh, WordPress framework, and one of the one of the things that uses is the Sage as the team starter team. There's a trellis, there's a bedrock. We're gonna go through the slides uh, with that one as well. So uh, let's go. Uh, you can just uh, while you're on your phones or uh, later on, you can just uh, get them on Twitter or visit their website. Also, also GitHub is a uh, huge for them. Uh, just to so you know, uh, Roots really helps you build the better web, better WordPress sites faster. But how come it's faster? Why would you do all over again things that you don't need to do all over again? Let's go back a like, li little bit. Like, uh, I want to develop a theme. I'm, okay, so what would I need to do? Like, what is the old-fashioned way? I'll have to navigate to the uh, WordPress, uh, WP, sorry, my Serbian, we pronounce WordPress completely different and it's going to be a struggle. But um, WP content folder, we're going to locate the teams folder. Then within that folder, we'll have to create another team folder. Then we have to create index.php, put some content in it. Now the silence is golden. Uh, you need to do uh, style.css, and you're redoing it that again. Come on, get me some coding. But no, you're adding the style.css. You need to put the header. Uh, how many of you ever, ever typed in? Uh, style.css from ahead. No hands, thank you. We always, oh yeah, you had to do that. Like, no, I'm kidding, kid. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. So you have to copy, copy from some team. That's why I usually do. I use from uh, 2015, 14, some default team. I just copy it over and just change, set me as an author because I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. So you have to do that all over again. Then you have to go functions.php, header, footer sidebar, everything, and then after that, you have to start developing. You don't need to do that. I don't like doing that, because if you're doing all over again, you know, like I, I get easily bored with the things that I don't need doing. So uh, beside Roots and beside uh, uh, Sage, Sage started team, I highly suggest using the underscores. Uh, the guy in the first row right in front of me is one of the uh, contributors. Thank you, Slobodan. <laughs> So um, why I suggest the underscores? Uh, because it's the, uh, developed by Automatic. Uh, and uh, it, we use it for development of the default WordPress themes. And it's really good. And the fact that I hate it was 
uh, when they introduce like the CSS, it comes with uh, 1,000 hours of, uh, of uh, progress, like in front. So uh, when I hate doing it, like, okay, I, I got a huge CSS, but now you can use the uh, SAS for development, and it's uh, really good because you can just uh, download the underscores starter team. You can just install the WP as CSS plugin, and you can just on your WordPress uh, WordPress team that team you can just edit the SAS files, and it will automatically this this plugin will automatically uh, compile CSS and show it to you. So. Uh, once again, let, today we're going to be talking about uh, Sage, Sage and the root started team. Um, it uses Gulp, it uses Bower, it uses ba uh, Bootstrap. That's c th that is something that's implemented. You can remove completely Bootstrap if you don't like it. I, personally, I'm a fan, uh, but if you don't like it, you can just completely remove it and put the uh, Zerb, uh, Zerbs Foundation or whatever, how, uh, whatever you pronounce it. Um, another thing that uh, I mentioned from the roots, it's uh, Bedrock. Uh, Bedrock is a, a project boilerplate. Uh, you can see the thing that comes with. Composer, everyone is into Composer. Uh, so far, I haven't tested it, so please don't ask me anything about it. Uh, and uh, the last but not the least, they uh, recently um, introduced tre uh, Trellis. Trellis was, some, uh, it was the Ansible, uh, I'm, I'm something that I haven't done. Uh, I'm a front-end developer, and something that I think they won't be doing, uh, won't be using as well. So, uh, why would you use a starter team if I haven't convinced you already? Why you should, and if you want, like to do uh, all over again and that? Because if I haven't convinced you, uh, this is the reason you should use this one, because Latin does. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, uh, the guy even tweeted about it. So I was so thrilled that I even retweeted that one favorite. <laughs> now, of course, this is this is a joke. This is not a this is not a Latin. So yeah, uh, well, I'm in Sweden. Like uh, besides Latin, you have really good movies and uh, Abba and the, uh, the Dancing Queen and everything. So um, yeah. So uh, back on the topic. Uh, besides, I said that Sage is not a is not a framework. It's just a starter team. If you if you are using that one and and I, and I do highly suggest it, uh, please don't refer it as a framework or whatever. It's just a starter team. You can enjoy it. Uh, I mentioned and it's developed on the GitHub until version seven. Uh, it was known as Roots. Now it's the Sage, and it has six thousand plus stars, uh, which is great. Uh, why it's great? Because uh, as soon as they introduced the Bootstrap for Alpha. We got a new branch for the roots, and you can just play along with uh, with a sage and uh, bootstrap for. Uh, it's just a perfect amount of boilerplate. Uh, how come? Because if you don't want to use, as I said, if you don't want to use bootstrap, you can just remove it. You you don't need to. You're not obligated to. Hello, Marco. I wasn't late in your presentation. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, it, it also comes one, uh, one of the features, it's the image optimization like that one as well. Uh, because if you ever seen Gulp and what it does when it compiles and everything, it uh, optimizes your image. And I don't know if it's really doing that, but I like seeing that one on my terminal, like optimize 2.5 kilobytes. <laughs> yeah, give me that, I want that one. So how, 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 how it's easy to start a new project? We won't be doing like that, going into WordPress, uh, WP content the, uh, themes folder, blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah, creating all the all the files because this is the starter and we uh, going to uh, going to uh, clone it. But before, here is the awesome four uh, pi, uh, sorry 5.4 PHP version uh, requirement, uh, which is awesome. Uh, the guys, um, I'm going to share a link with you. Also, they have the radio, uh, and they're kind of making a couple of laughs about 5.2 uh, support uh, support of the WordPress. But you know, uh, 5.4 we uh, we will be needing Git. Uh, you'll need a Node, and uh, yeah, the first thing you, that you need to do is like going to your WP config and set your environment to development. Why would you do that? Because if you're not set 
uh, the environment, it will, uh, it will automatically uh, use the dist folder of the Gulp. So this is the first thing that I do when I create, uh, when I create a team. Just go there, there will be config file as, and setting the correct environment. Uh, this is the line that, we that you need to use when you're, cloning, uh, when you're closing the GitHub repo into your new uh, team folder. Or once you're there, you just run through a terminal, uh, navigate to your, uh, to your team folder, uh, go there and run uh, npm install, uh, which will install all the, mod all the modules that are, uh, that are in package uh, package.json file. Also, after that, that one, after that one finishes, uh, you'll be running the Bower install. Uh, that, yeah, sorry, that, that, that's in Serbian, yes. Uh, I forgot to mention that we also, uh, Sage uses Bower, Bower, which is the package management for front end, so uh, you run Bower install and it also uh, and it will uh, install all the packages needed for your uh, for your uh, dependencies no, listed in dependencies. Sorry, Bower's JSON file. So uh, you can just install that one, running those those two commands, and that team after running this command after running gulp, it will it will compile everything that needs to file. It will uh, optimize those images that I was talking about, 2.4 kilobytes or whatever. And you can use that one. Uh, I saw the websites, production websites, that are using the uh, roots, roots team just as is, not, no changes made. Uh, and it's working, it's operational. But the, if you want to dig some more, dig into, uh, you can, there are a couple of more uh, gulp commands that comes with a uh, with a sage that we can run. I intentionally didn't uh, set gulp watch. First, I'm going to introduce gulp production. Uh, what gulp uh, double dash production uh, does? It it will compile all the assets for you, and it will remove the all the maps source maps in your CSS file. You know that. With every CSS file, alongside that comes a copy with all the uh, mappings on that uh, uh, compiling, like on the line that yapa yapa comes that. Blah, blah, blah. So it removes it and it completely uh, and completely prepares it for your production. So after that, while you're developing, you will be using this one. Uh, this one is awesome, and uh, that I, I think that was the uh, reasons I'm using it. Gulp Watch before Gulp. Gulp is introduced uh, in uh, version eight until version eight, uh, when it was Roots. We were using uh, Grunt, which is which was slower, and that was that was the use they, uh, that was the reason they changed it to Gulp. Uh, now Gulp Watch, as you play along with your S with your SCSS file uh, and your JavaScript file, it watches over those files, optimizes them. Uh, compiles and, and whatever. So uh, another cool feature, it's a browser sync. Uh, we watched today, uh, I forgot which talk, uh, when you mentioned something about you're changing your CSS file, then you need to, I'm sorry, I, I'm going to again refer as, as the guy from Delphi Engine. I forgot, Edmund, sorry, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool presentation, really enjoyed it, thank you. So if you're like, changing something in your CSS file, then you need to compile it, then minify it, then you have to uh, look at your CSS file, then uh, you have to reload your browser. That's time consuming. And something that I really hate doing, I, I, uh, I even forgot when was the last time I made some change and then went to the browser and refresh, hit refresh. That was the, like when I had to do it uh, on some production site, it was a hot fix. I changed something like really directly via FTP, uh, and just look, oh yeah 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 re refresh. I really got um, I, I I I forgot because uh, browser sync uh, complete uh, completely uh, changed the way I develop. Why? Because uh, within the assets file you have the uh, manifest JSON file, and you can set you can set your dev URL within that file, and it it will watch for that file. If you have the project name, you have to change the dev URL to something like local host uh, on some port and doing the project, that project, and it watches 
for your file, for your, all, all the changes to your files. And whenever you change something in CSS, it, it injects in your uh, page and it auto, uh, automatically like kind of refreshes, which is awesome because there is nothing wrong with injecting CSS into your, uh, into your uh, page. You're just looking at some page and you can just go into I use Sublime. So you can just use Sublime as some uh, CSS and just inject that one. Like you can see the changes almost, inst almost instantly. Sorry. There's also live reload plugin for, uh, uh, for Chrome. Uh, that you can just change uh, change something through inspect element, some CSS that will just uh, inject into this uh, Sublime, and then then the, that will compile, and it will just save it for your browser. Uh, if we now I'm going to talk about going through theme files and what comes with the Sage. If you have everything set up, you have uh, WP config file. You have the dev URL set, everything set, you're ready to go. Uh, the thing that comes with uh, with with with, uh, uh, with your clone, it's a couple of folders. You, you, you've seen this one: fonts, uh, fonts, assets, uh, assets sorry, uh, fonts, images, scripts. Uh, it comes a little bit organized. You can follow along that one. Uh, you don't need to. You're not obligated to as well. Uh, there's a lang folder because Sage is completely translatable and we know how translations are important to WordPress and all the users. So uh, you have to follow along this one. You can, sorry, you can follow along this one. There's a pod file that you can just translate to your own, uh, to your own language. It's not like I did it, but I'm, I'm one who is suggesting it. So uh, the most important, the lib folder, where uh, you, you want to change the NQ uh, additional CSS JavaScript the uh, assets.php uh, file, a couple of really files that are um, really important, uh, config.php, um, let me just check, titles, yeah, init, sorry, sorry, init, init.php, where you can initiate another uh, menus on, you'll, you, you just clone that one and you'll see what's, what, what, what's with that. Uh, of course, uh, template, templates and template parts, are completely supported, and that's what are we uh, smart enough to, to, to use. So what the concept that uh, Sage uh, stands for, yeah, I can use stands for, uh, is the dry. Yeah, wh when I start like, what? Yeah, so I, I look at your faces, so yeah, it's dry. And that means don't repeat yourself. It's a good concept, and I really loved it. That was the one of the major hookups for me. Because uh, in the WordPress, we're constantly, uh, co constantly overwriting something. Like if you want a page, then you have to overwrite. Then you have to like over. But we we need to be. Uh, if if you want to be competitive, you need to uh, use this concept. Stick to this concept as long as it's possible. It's not always. In, it's not always uh, possible. Uh, the next step with that one is, of course, yeah. Uh, let me just uh, allow you to, to uh, read this one, what it does. Uh, comparing to dry, there is also wet. Uh, that means write everything twice. Uh, that's the basic um, theme, theme development theory if you want to uh, theme about template. And uh, you, want to, you want to just overwrite your page.php. You have to like create page dash about dot php then you are writing something that you already uh, you, you already set in page dot php that's this concept but of course and last but not the least there is cry and cry it like continually repeating yourself like you're doing all over again and you're happy you're happy as long as it works but i think that we are all uh, much smarter than that so uh, with the uh, theme templates, uh, I'm going to talk, uh, introduce a couple of changes, something that's not not uh, natively, yeah, let's say, let's say that way, uh, supported by de default uh, theme uh, theme templates hierarchy in uh, in uh, WordPress. Uh, it's the base.php. Uh, base.php uh, file is something that's uh, really been used in Sage. 
and it's it, it represents the template uh, template uh, sorry a template wrapper yeah it's a wrapper word that I'm looking for um, and within that file we want to keep everything dry how come we, we are using the base.php and with that that file within that file sorry uh, we are requiring a we're using get header function, we're using get sidebar, we're using get footer, and on the other files or whatever, we are just using the conditional text, like if this is the page, this is the front page, use uh, header dash front page dot PHP. But this file uh, needs to be dry as, 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 as possible. So, uh, but if you need to overwrite that file, you can just use it okay. So it's, it respects the WordPress uh, templates, and if you want to change it, like you want to that file on base file that you want to uh, use it for the front page, you can just add it like base dash front page dot php, and that file uh, Sage knows which file to call, so it changes and uses that file. Uh, if you want to extend uh, some of the templates, uh, if you want to this thing that I said, if you want some front uh, front page, static front page, you can just copy page.php, uh, made it uh, front page uh, .php, and use that one. Uh, Sage will know to, to, to load that file. Also, about page, and I believe I have gallery, yeah. Uh, also supports custom post types, and if you have uh, something that you want to uh, your custom post type, single uh, single post type page. If you could just use the single dash custom post type dot PHP and use that one as well. Something that um, uh, really bothers me, and I promised myself to have this one, this slide. Uh, this is supposed to be the first slide. Then I moved it to the tenth slide. Then I moved it like in the middle. Then I pushed it all over. Uh, at the end, so keep functionalities out outside of your team, please. Uh, please don't use your functionalities. Use plugins for that. Uh, don't call custom post type. Don't register custom post types within your team. That's not cool. So, uh, I'll as you as you saw on my first slide. Uh, I'm using slides.com. Uh, I will be tweeting about that one. So all these are all the links. Uh, so. You can ha you can just click on the Sage Docs uh, or the uh, and go there and check out everything. Uh, I think I uh, I would be super happy if at least a couple of you uh, visit it and just use it. Uh, what I do suggest is to get their uh, get their ebook. It's really good. It's like, I think around forty bucks or something. I got it and it's really good. So I highly suggest you to 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 buy that one. Uh, also, if you're a fan of podcast, uh, the guys uh, are doing the podcast. It was the episode four recently, and whenever they introduce some feature or anything, uh, they're uh, blabbing about it, and it's funny. I don't know. Maybe I'm just geek. So uh, yeah, once again, uh, roots.io at roots.wp uh, on Twitter. Check them out. A uh, co couple of things about me. Uh, I work for Devana Technologies, the company that's behind Managed WP. Uh, I pressed another slide. I still do work for I'm kidding, kidding. Okay. Yep. I'm also uh, the founder, founder and organizer of the WordPress Serbia. Hello, Marco. Yeah, that one, yeah. The work in, uh, work in Belgrade was this year. Thank you, Nicholas, for being there. Uh, it, it will be also the next year, so I I, I invite you all to come. Um, also, one of the lecturers at the WordPress Academy in Belgrade, and proud member of the team review team. That's why I chose to speak about teams and team development uh, to introduce the framework that uh, framework. Sorry, start a team uh, that I'm using. <laughs> I made a mistake. Uh, funny, funny, yeah. So uh, to introduce that one, because a couple of us agreed that uh, it, every WordCamp, there are at least 
um, the, the least number of, uh, of the talks are about teams and team development. You, we can all uh, see lots of about, sorry guys, but Vagrant, optimization, servers, sorry Milenko, uh, lots of plugin development and everything, but uh, about the team development, not so much, about design itself. So I, I, I had to, uh, I had to uh, talk about that one. Uh, I want to um, say sorry to all my Facebook friends. I have around 2,000 friends on Facebook that I'm so sorry about. Uh, my every post is about WordPress, but I am WordPress enthusiast. And uh, I have a couple, yeah. uh, couple of words about Sweden. No, I'm kidding. It, it won't be anything rude. I want to thank my uh, uh, girlfriend for letting me come to Sweden because, as we all know, it's a country of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, ABBA, which I personally love, and good movies. Uh, my name is Milan. Uh, you, can, you can just shoot me an email or visit my website, mi.rs. Or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever with Lanche86. And uh, I believe this is how you say thank you very much. If I have offended anyone, oh, okay, that's good. So, like, I saw just a pointer and, like, no, no, okay. So, if you have any questions, I will be gladly uh, answer one of those. Thank you. Yeah, well, should I yeah, no, I'll I'll do it. Yeah, it's my presentation. No, I'm kidding. I don't know if it's on, so just check. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that um, it comes with Bootstrap, but you don't have to use it. Yeah. So it, do you just exclude it from Bower and then yeah. don't install in the dependency? So like the HTML doesn't have any classes from Bootstrap. Well, uh, then you have to then you have to uh, go go through the go through the HTML files. Yeah. Okay. So there's yeah. a basic Bootstrap class set up in the HTML files. Yeah. Yeah. There are okay. a couple of uh, just the in the HTML you can see see for a grid and let's say for grid if you want uh, divs have the classes of for uh, prepare for Bootstrap. Okay. Yeah. And what uh, CSS would you get when you remove Bootstrap? Is there then any CSS? Uh, uh, no, uh, there's uh, there's a uh, um, uh, you know the um, the couple of uh, real basic real basic beside Bootstrap there are a couple of uh, uh, resets normalize uh, uh, there are also I believe the WP WP I forgot uh, WP you know for the align left align right within yeah. the WordPress that that file uh, WP helper yeah that file comes but you can just remove it I ha I have never. I don't intend to, because I was really a fan of uh, Foundation, Zerbs Foundation, but now I completely switched to uh, switch to Twitter Bootstrap and yeah, never moved it. But yeah. more questions? Guy with the camera? No, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, um, how well does uh, Sage work with uh, WooCommerce? And if you want to use your own styles and not use the bundle styles with your WooCommerce, for example, how much work is it to make it look good? Yeah, well, you know that uh, we need to rewrite all the files, re rewrite all the files for WooCommerce if we want to change it. But uh, with the default set, default set of files, it really, it really works good. Because I had some project that I totally forgot, and, but haven't got to. Uh, the change to for the WooCommerce uh, files and like single product page and everything, but with the default styles it worked. Like it's not the design that I wanted. Like it's not the design that was in uh, in in uh, uh, Photoshop files, but it worked. Like if you have the single page, okay, it recognized all the uh, Bootstrap did all the figures, all the images, uh, titles, and everything. It did all all that for us. So with a let's say minor uh, modification, you can you can just set whatever you want. Guy with the camera, second time? No? Still no questions? Okay. Thanks a lot, Milan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.